The ability to share music has taken many different forms over the years. First there was the LP. You are very brave if you shared one of those with your mates. Then came the mighty cassette. Plastic, portable, customizable. After that there were CDs, MP3, and now it's as simple as sharing a playlist with someone on your tablet or laptop. But I remember a time when sharing music was an art form. I'm talking, of course, about the humble mixtape. So here's my mixtape masterclass to make sure you create the perfect compilation. Of course, making a mixtape is a lot easier today. You don't have to wait by the radio for your favorite song to come on. You don't need one of these. Just a computer and a tape deck to record it onto. According to recent research by Bush, 40% of us are still making mixtapes. We just call them playlists now, using formats such as Spotify, Apple Music, blank CDs, and even tapes. In the movie High Fidelity, John Cusack says making a mixtape is like writing a letter. It has to be carefully crafted in a very specific, well thought out order. So, rule number one, start with a bang, a big number that's really gonna get their attention. Something like Last Night by The Strokes. Next, it's time to mellow things down a bit. Let the listener take time to settle in. A track like Keen Somewhere Only We Know would be perfect for this. That's what's going on mine. Next, it's important to remember variety in your mixtape. Try to avoid using the same artist more than once unless you absolutely have to. Remember, you're supposed to be showing off your wide knowledge. Many mixtape enthusiasts would consider it sacrilege to repeat an artist. However, that said, make sure there's a theme to your mixtape. Is it a love letter? Something to inspire? A birthday gift for a special someone? A good mixtape can't just be a random selection of music. It has to have a point. It might be a good idea to make a list beforehand. Then you can whittle it down to your absolute must-haves. We have the luxury of dragging and reordering on music apps today, of course. So you can try a few combinations on your Bush tablet before hitting that save playlist button. Once you've chosen your songs, you may have some dead space at the end of the tape. You do have 60 minutes to fill after all. So some quick research online will give you a wealth of one and two minute songs that can fill in the gaps and make sure your mixtape doesn't end with just a hiss. And don't be afraid to customize. Make your own cover art by computer or by hand. You can definitely judge a mixtape by its cover. And give it a name. No mixtape is complete without a title. And lastly, end how you began with a flourish. I think I'll go for a bit of Bieber.